Hello everyone, Tuvalunt here and welcome back. We've got another Total Novice video for you today, and it's Norska. That's right, I randomly drew the Vikings, basically. It was the very first DLC I purchased for Warhammer back in the day. I don't even remember how long ago it was. You'll notice we removed the wheel of random names from the videos. Basically because I realized, you know what? I put the name of the faction in the video title, so there's not much suspense when you click on it. So instead, I'll still be using that wheel of random names. I'll just be doing it behind the scenes. Hope you guys are good with it. Hey, up to this point, uh, these videos have actually been doing great, and I appreciate everyone that has that is that has taken the time to watch them. I appreciate the love and support everybody has shown for the Total Novice series so far. That's awesome. It's amazing. And hey, you know what? It just keeps me driving to want to do more. So thank you so much. As a reminder, and for those who are new, and maybe this is the first Total Novice video you're watching, this is kind of my process of incremental learning. This is really just about me focusing on faction specific mechanics right now. I am just trying to learn each of the faction specific mechanics to see which factions I like and would want to play to learn the game. So hey, you know what? Stick around because you may learn something yourself. If you like the video, me or the game, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Look, you can always drop a comment. I'll never complain about you dropping a comment and the YouTube algorithm loves our comments. So feel free to drop a comment, share a thought or two or three. You never know. It might just be worth it. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. We're headed into Norska. Now, Norska has two lords, Wolfric and Throg. And I got to be honest with you, I know a lot of people say Throg is the is the take, Throg is the go. We're actually going to go ahead and go with Wolfric. I don't know what it is. It's just like he's like uh, Ragnar Lothrog on crack. You just look at him. He's a, he's a beautiful beastie boy. Let's go ahead and get it going. Destroy them. All right. As we just heard, Wolfric knows fears a new champion. Let's go ahead and read a little bit about our Norska here. So we're going to raise settlements and raise monoliths in their place to gradually pledge allegiance to the gods. All right. And they're going to be that'll be giving us some faction wide gifts. Hunt down creatures listed in the monstrous Arcanum and defeat them in battle in return for unique and powerful trophies. And I think those, I think those trophies, I can't remember. I thought those trophies could either be items or could be monstrous units, but um, I don't know if we'll really get far enough in to find out. We're going to see. Conquer special locations across the world to develop, to develop into fully fledged Norsk and strongholds that enable powerful technologies and defeat the faction leaders of rival Norsk and tribes to be given the option to form tribal confederation. All right. So, as is our way, we're going to hit escape. We're going to go ahead and read this fully, just so I've got a little bit of a better understanding, and then we'll be back. So, if you want to read this as well, feel free to go ahead and pause the video right here. Take a read. I'm going to go ahead and read. I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay. In we go. So, let's go ahead and we'll do our technology first. Let's see what our options are here. Monster Hunter. Okay, we get unlock monster hunt right away. And a little boost to some monstrous units, I'm guessing. Minus 10% for marauder, marauder infantry units, probably the way to go right now, I would think, this early in the game. Plus five for marauder unit, plus five leadership for marauder units. I don't know how low their leadership is. Let's take a look. My challenge 75 leadership, 80 leadership, 60. Uh, I'm honestly not exactly sure what's what's high yet. 75 and 80 seems pretty good, but the others are pretty low. Leadership seems to be... I don't know. Leadership seems to make the most sense, but we are going to be recruiting. Let's go ahead and just take the recruitment. Um, the recruitment discount. Okay, here's our monstrous Arcanum. Let's... See what's going on in here. This arcanum houses a collection of the mightiest beasts and monsters that roam the world. Seek them out and hunt them down to acquire their gifts. All right. Okay, so we've got six pages that aren't exactly filled yet. We can see drawings for the monsters, though. 
a five-headed dragon, a hydra-looking thing. Okay, and there's technologies right here. Unlocks level three monster hunts. I see. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So that, maybe that's pretty much it with Norska. Let's look at their diplomacy. Quick deals. Scaling and Varg are the two that I'm aware of. We're close. All right. Okay, well, now we get into our, our our action, our fights that we've got. All right, so looks like, yeah, actually, it looks like we're only going to have one, right? In the last, last few videos, we tried to take out the enemy army and a settlement in turn one, but it doesn't look like we're going to have that option here. We've got a shaman sorcerer, okay. All right, let's go ahead and Bjornling. Okay. Pyrrhic victory. Of course, as always, we're going to fight the easy stuff, right? Fight the easy stuff because that is what gives us our, our, our high level for giving fights. So we're going to go ahead and fight the easy stuff. Let's see what units we have real quick here. We've got Marauder Champions. They're armored and shielded. I've got one unit of, of sword and boards. I've got Marauder Berserkers, anti-infantry, damage dealers with Frenzy. All right, we've got Marauders who have armor piercing and great weapons. We've got some Marauder Horsemen who have throwing axes. So my question is, do they have firewall moving? Yeah, they have firewall moving, cool, okay. And I have two units of those. And they're armor-piercing missiles. Okay, so we want to keep that in mind, right? Because if our enemy has armored foes, then we really want to try to help focus on that because I think we'll get a lot of value out of that. And then we have a feral mammoth. Okay. Who are we up against? We're up against some... We've got a sword and board. Well, actually, technically, they've got armored sword and board. Then they've got two shielded, anti-large spear... Marauder Horsemen and Famir Warriors. Armored, armor piercing, armor sundering, scaling skin, and they're monstrous. So I think our great weapons, maybe you're going to have to take them on. Because I don't have any anti-large. Is my mammoth anti-large? No, he's anti-infantry. Armored, armor piercing, armor sundering. Okay, well, let's get it done. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... We're not going to discount the muscle memory we've been working on. What does he have? Searing Doom. Range damage, explosive damage. Strong versus single unit. Okay. Strong versus single unit. Versus, aha, Sea Fang. Yeah. This is our, 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 our ship thingy. All right, here we go. Armored Sword and Board. He's the, they're the center of our line with... We've got Anti-Infantry... I was thinking about this as I was actually laying in bed deciding if I was going to wake up or not. Anti-infantry feels like it it could fill the lines. What is their... They only have 15 armor, though. Versus armor. Great weapon. Oh, no. They have the same melee defense. They have a little bit more melee defense. Okay. I mean, I think I want my great weapons to go against their monster unit, but... Not sure how to build this front line, honestly. Not sure how to build the front line. Okay, so let's see. Where are we going to want to fight? I wanna, I'm going to want to fight where my formation is going to remain intact, if possible. Did they have range? They had one unit arranged, right? Yeah, missile cavalry. Okay. They're looking like they're on their left. Perfect. All right, let's get her started. See how we do? Wish me luck. Okay, well, here we are. We won the battle, period victory. I'll share with you the challenges I found when we get back to the screen. Okay, so, truly and honestly, we really struggled with leadership. 
we really struggled with leadership. Um, I probably I could have done, but I'm sure I could have done things a lot better. But we definitely struggled with some leadership stuff, so we got to keep that in mind here. You know, I kind of want to do armor replenishment because obviously we're going to march on a, on a on a settlement somewhere. But I'm hoping we're going to get casualty replenishment in the field, so I'm going to go ahead and take the money. All right, let's see. So we took out Snogger the Terror. It looks like we can form a confederation with his tribe. We can release him or we can execute him. I mean, let's confederate. All right, we've contained complete control of the province. All right. All right, so we did get Troll Fjord down there as well. So let's see real quick. We're get, we got to take a look at Wolfric, but okay. So Monolith of Bjorkle, Bloody Hand, and Troll Fjord are in this province. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Wolfric. Let's see if we get a level. I just want to take a look and see if anything happens to him when leadership breaks, like damage or something like that, that we've been kind of noticing in some of the other factions. Okay, so not... For him at least. Hey, look at that. We did get some armor. All right. We are definitely going to take Route Marcher first. So again, this, this blue line kind of serves as some, some army buffs. The red line ends up being kind of buffs to specific types of units, really. I, I do like to build Wolfric as a melee beast. So I think we're going to end up taking Route Marcher. Then we're probably going to go into the yellow line a little bit, but we'll see. Leadership or size plus 80% though. All right. We'll have to continue to monitor Wolfric. Here's our spellcaster. We saw that they already had one spell. Not much going on. All right. So we, we already confederated this place. And if we take a look at our other options... Is this down here? That's Zinch, huh? They look pretty close to. That's Varg. The Gnarl Furlings. And it looks like we're at war with them, so that's the direction we're gonna we're gonna head. I don't know where Throg is, but if we could find Throg early and beat Throg, we could confederate Throg. And I think that gives us Throg as a... I think it would give us Throg as a legendary lord to recruit, I think. And we could make a Throg army as well, I think. But I'm not 100%. All right, we've got some things to do here. Okay, we're not going to be able to recruit with Wolfric because I moved. I shouldn't have done that. I probably should have went into the... Wait, maybe we can. Oh, we can, okay. I can get two units. Well, we need some spearmen because I need to deal with monstrous units. And these are Noriskins, so monstrous units are going to be a thing. Let's take a look at our building browser, see what we should build. There's some income, growth and income, wait, growth and post battle income. And we've got our military buildings. I need income early. So we're going to go ahead and build income. Commandment available. All right, summon the chieftains. Recruitment cost. That might not be bad because we're about to recruit a whole lot of units. Campaign movement range. Oh, that's minus 20 for an enemy. 20 growth and construction cost for buildings. Boy, I really honestly think... Let's go with the growth. Let's go with the growth. Okay. And that's turn one with Norska. Let's roll. All right, here we are. We're back. Turn two. We're going to keep moving over to the Grayling Moot. Uh, let's see... So there is no, he has no encampment stance. So does that mean he can just 
He can recruit and move always. I'm listening. I think our shaman got a level. Yeah, our shaman got a level. And let's boost the spell. My so you know, we're gonna keep. We gotta keep recruiting. I think we're gonna probably take. Let's take two of these now. And how much movement? So we have no movement. So I, I probably should have moved first. If I... If I left click to remove, will I get the money back? I do get the money back. All right. And I'll get his movement. So let's go ahead and move. Actually, let's, let's come on this monolith first. I can't recruit anything else specifically, but I can do that. And then that should... Yeah, see, I can't move again. So I need to get my move. I think I do. I need to do all movement. What's what's the garrison look like over here? Really small garrison. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to waste time because remember, in previous playthroughs, we've seen that that wasting time. Yeah, we 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 need to be efficient with our time. It seems with factions, especially in the early game. Okay, I've moved. All right, I am fully moved now. I can, I can recruit in the Vanaheim Mountains only. All right, it's fine. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. It's all a learning process, and that's it. If I go to diplomacy real quick, let's check our quick deals. Oh, Zinch, they'll uh, will they trade with me? They won't trade with me. Let's get a nap with Zinch. Let's get an app with it because I'm gonna have to deal with a lot of Norsk and stuff up tribes up here. I don't I don't think I really wanna um I don't think I really wanna have to worry about Zinch right away. Man, my strength rank is only 157. Okay. Alright, so we've got a, a non-aggression pact with Zinch now. Which I believe will also give us a little bit of a relation boost with them. And that might allow us to get into a trade agreement with them in a couple of turns. All right, let's go ahead and go into turn three. Okay, turn three. Now there's an army there. Now there's an army there. So. We've got an army to deal with. All right, next turn, we'll be able to at least go to the next tier here. Norse can feel slow. Who else did we play that felt slow like this um, so far? Not Tomb Kings. Maybe Empire-ish? I don't know, Norse can feel slow. I'm sure I'm doing some things wrong because I don't know if it should feel this slow or not. Oh, here's the Allegiance of the Gods thing. Norskin tribal leaders may pledge their devotion to a dark god to gain their favor and be granted ruinous gifts. And this happens when we raise something and we can raise, like, altar, something like that. So we know that there's a garrison there, and now there's an army parked on there. So, I think what we will probably do is we may bypass that to hit this doom keep. So let's try that. And yeah, we're not going to get replenishment. And there's no encampment. I want to, I want, I'm just looking to see if I have options. Immune to most attrition if I do this. Vigor in battle. Battle is winded if we raid. Let's, let's go into raiding. And we can't recruit because we're in foreign territory. Let's My check this garrison. Doom keep. Okay. All right. Boy, I don't know. Go ahead and head into turn four and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen here. I think this hero might come out and fight me. But let's see. Wait, well, didn't come out and fight me. I'm sure he's recruiting. 
We're going to go try to take this Doom Keep and see if we can then park in Doom Keep to get replenishment back and do some recruiting and do some technology. Let's get some leadership. Monster Hunt sounds fine, but it, and I'll probably get that the next tech so we can see what it unlocks in the monster manual. Although we may not even our playthrough may be our, our playthrough for the purpose of what we are accomplishing may be done before then. Yeah. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you're a Norskin fan. Are they this slow in the beginning or am I playing them slow? I don't know. All right, here we go into turn five. Oh, he got to Doom Keep. Oh, the Sightless have been obliterated. Um, I had a nap with them. They've been obliterated. Who obliterated them? Norska. No. Bellacor, Warriors of Chaos. All right. Well, let's quick deal real quick. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So Lamont moved ahead of me. He did a little bit of recruiting back there at the Grayling Moot. The problem is I, I need to see. I'm not going to have the range, am I? Nope. I'm not going to have the range. Shoot. Man, this is tough. Yeah, I definitely... So it's weird. The Norskins don't seem to have a lot going on, right? They have their monster book. They... they. I mean, they have their monster book. That's that's pretty much it. They have Confederation. They have their monster book. But, but recruiting... Yeah. I have a lot of money, and that's a mistake, right? Like, I should have a massive army so that I don't have this tons of money. So... We're going to see what this Lamont guy does because he might be able to attack me. I think I'm just outside of the sphere of the garrison. So what I need to hope for is that he comes to attack me by himself and we can win that fight. But I'm kind of beat up and I haven't reinforced myself much. And that 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 could end up being a mistake here. Let's go ahead and go into turn six. Okay, so Snugger, the Marauder Chieftain, has returned from his... Oh, okay. So when we confederate, do we just get the Lord? So there's Lamont Dahl. He is he did not come over to attack me or reinforce the moot. I wonder if that's because I blocked him. I wonder if my red circle here. I, I'm guessing he has to move around my red circle if he doesn't want to attack me, and maybe he didn't have enough movement. Okay, so I'm I I'm gonna guess we can go to recruit Lord. And there's Snogger. The guy that we confederated. Okay. All right. I don't know if we need a second lord right now. Oh. Oh, but Bellicor, the warriors of chaos are heading over here. That's not good. Okay. I want to check our garrison. We have like no garrison here at all. So I need to recruit. I'm going to recruit Snogger the Terror. He's uncompromising. Maybe I won't. I mean, I need to get... Is there an advantage of, of recruiting a chieftain that I... Oh, they don't cost me out the gate. They just cost me the upkeep. That's the advantage. All right, so we're going to recruit him. I'm going to recruit some units with... I'm going to garrison him because I think the Warriors of Chaos are coming for us. I'm going to get some units in his army. One of each. This is just sad. Then I'm going to hire a hero that we we can't. We cannot hire a hero because we need a certain building. I see. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, <sighs> I'm not liking the look of that. I think the warrior, the warriors of chaos appear like they're headed right over. That is an almost a full stack. I put a Lord there, recruiting a couple of units there. Let's see what happens. I mean, I could try to... What would it take to keep them off my back? Man, their strength 
six to right now. Welcome. So Let me keep you in the to get a nap with these guys, I'd have to give them eighty five hundred gold. Are you kidding me? No. No. Not gonna happen. Not gonna. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. All right. Let's get Snagar leveled before we do the moot. Bring route marcher him. Yeah, this this campaign feels really weird. I think these are the things that I read that that Wolfric's Wolfric's campaign start or that Norsk in its, itself just needs a lot of love and and Wolfric's start is worse than Throgs. But again, I haven't done enough research. I don't know enough to to make this work easy. That's not the point. Right now we're learning. So let's go ahead and hit the moot. We got a decisive victory. Is it an open field battle? Yeah, it's an open field battle. I'm going to go ahead and get practice. They've got some... They got three shielded marauder units. They've got spear with anti-large, so I need to keep my mammoth away from that. Marauder hunters... Armor-piercing missiles. Marauder horsemen. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and, as always, control groups using our getting our muscle memory right. Okay. Here we go. Wish me luck because I'm gonna need it. See you guys when it's over. Okay. Well, that's another fight down. I think I did better. That's. I mean, it says decisive victory, so obviously, and I was supposed to, but I I did better controlling that fight. Um, Better tactical, I think. Anyway, let's end the battle and see. This settlement is yours to do with as you please. Whether that be the establishment of a camp to recruit and build from, or to devote it to one of the gods by raising it to ash and ruin, gaining their favor and gifts. Okay, so here we go. Here's the... Here's, here's their, other than the Confederation, it seems like, uh, this is, well, I was going to say the only other because they do have the monster Arcanum, but anyway, we raise this and we dedicate it to Hound, Crow, Serpent, or Eagle. It looks like I have, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I was going to say, wait a second, I have no way of knowing. Okay, he raised the region, erect a monument of the Great Eagle. Attaining allegiance to this god will reward you with the following. Level 1 research rate plus 20. Level 2 winds of magic starting amount plus 20. Wow, that's nice because, well, because of magic and all. Serpent, minus 10 upkeep for all units. And Lord Recruit rank plus 5. That's insane. That sounds like not a bad thing at level 2. Le oh, level 3. Specialist Chaos Sorcerer Killer of the Tormentor. Lord of Change. Azric the maze the exiled uh, oh these are all okay so this is corn nurgle changeling slanish yeah corn nurgle slanish probably probably because there's here's the unclean one and we know this by nurgle plus 20 casualty replenishment and then hound is probably corn plus 10 percent for melee infantry i'm gonna have a lot of those and unit experience gain per turn plus 100 i think hound sounds good although Serpent could be good too. Let's do Hound. I don't. I don't think we're going to be playing this uh, playthrough long enough for much of it to matter. If I'm being honest, so Wolfric has leveled. Do I take domineering presence or dominating presence characters or leadership effect? Any unit standing within this character's turn in battle will receive. So I could give my I could give my units a leadership bonus. And they struggle with leadership. Or an aura size of 80%. Let's let's I don't think I'm gonna do a charge bonus. I would like to get armor. Let's do the armor for now. How about the shaman? Shaman leveled. Metal shifting. Base weapon damage plus 12%. Armor, piercing, weapon damage, triggers when casting a spell, affects allies in range. So what, every time my shaman casts a spell, there's a bit of a, a, a damage buff. That doesn't sound bad at all. Plague Rust, minus 30 armor. 
Glittering Robe, plus 60 armor. Gehenna's Golden Hounds. Medium randomly moving area of effect, strong versus multiple units. But we have Seafang. You know what I want to do? I want to take Metal Shifting. I think metal. I don't think Metal Shifting sounds bad at all. We've got some armor, and I think I'm going to give that armor to Wolfric. Oh, no. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, Wolfric's already got armor. Let's give it to Snagger. Okay. All right. Warriors of Chaos still down here. I'm half tempted to go after Lamont Dahl, but boy, are we beat up. I mean, do we do we need to retreat back? I think we need to retreat back. I mean, we don't have any sort of movement for it right now, but I think we need to retreat back. Okay, here we go. We're going to end turn six. We're going to go into turn seven. We're going to see if our world comes to an end. <laughs> Let's find out what happens. Okay. Lamont Dahl came to fight us. We're going to get a close victory. We will lose two of our units. If I fight it, things could be worse. He's got a lot of shielded infantry up front. He's got spear infantry. Okay, so he's got some javelins. All right, he's got seven, no, six total ranged units. That could be a problem for us. That could be a real big problem for us. I think we're going to auto-resolve this because I do think I'll do a lot worse. At some point in time, we're going to have to... I mean, at some point in time, we'll have to put that to the test, right? But do I? can I afford to lose two units... I feel like I would lose more. Honestly, I feel like we would I would I would really use more. Can we retreat? Let's retreat and see see what happens here. What happens if we retreat? After reviewing the enemy details, you may decide that the battle will not end in your favor. Should you be attacked again following the retreat, you will not be able to retreat. Let's try to retreat. Okay. So we retreated. He's hidden from me. So he's probably He's probably ambushing somewhere. That's that's what he wants to do, probably. Our goal is to get into here. I could recruit. Let's go over here. What's up with the Warriors of Chaos? So the Van Heimlings took... Okay, so the Van Heimlings took this back over. Warriors of Chaos? Wow. Uh... That's is that Bellicor's only settlement now? Where did he go? I don't know where Bellicor went. We we hired we hired old Snagar over here to 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 defend against him, but maybe maybe that was enough for him to turn around. All right, Wolfric, we're gonna have Wolfric do some recruiting here. Get a couple of frontliners. All right, we have some building that can be done. All right, let's look at our Norskin Warhounds. Very fast, skilly skin, weak against armor. Marauder hunters, marauder horsemen. So, missile cav, 80 range, 90 range, 12 ammo, 16 ammo. Plus, they'd be able to run a lot and give us a lot of mobility. The question is, what do they lead into? So these Norskin Warhounds would give us Skin Wolf, Werekin, the Ice Wolves, and Skin Wolves. I mean, Team Werewolf all the way. Team Werewolf all the way for me, so. Let's put that up. Okay. Campaign movement range another 10. Blade Worker's Hammer. Plus 10 plus 10 weapon strength. The Monster Hunter just it just doesn't seem like we're really going to be able to take advantage of it. Honestly. 
It feels like I'm missing something with Norska, and I'm I'm hoping you guys can. I'm hoping you guys can kind of set it right for me, because it feels like I am just absolutely missing something with Norska. Like, I don't I don't know what it is. It just fe they feel empty. I guess is is what I would say compared to what we've other things we've played. I mean, yeah, I get that the the monster arcanum over here, but it they feel they feel empty. All right, we've moved. We've done all of the things. Let's go ahead and head into turn eight. I think this video is honestly coming close to an end with not a whole lot of action. Uh, we're learning things such as Norska feels really boring. But let's see. All right, let's see. Uh oh, what is this? Plus five leadership for all armies for three turns, but it's going to cost me 1500 gold or we do nothing. Well, we have the gold. Uh, ambusher discovered. We have detected a force belonging to the Farlings attempting to lay an ambush in Grayling Moot. Let's fight. Champions fall. I mean, part of me wants to. I kid you not. Part of him. Part of me wants to go after him. Uh, let's see. Norskin Warhounds. Okay, so we can recruit some Warhounds now. Yes. I'm sure they're bad units. Not so good units, but... We don't have a lot of money right now, though. So whatever I recruit, I need to be careful with. But I, I, I have enjoyed... I have enjoyed units that I could use to cycle charge in and out and just mess with ranged units and archers and stuff like that. Okay, let's go ahead and end our turn. Go into turn nine. Abundance of metal, upkeep minus 15. Abundance of meat. Ooh, we're going to go casualty replenishment here. I am the so Lamont's going to probably chill out over there because he took it back. All right. So we're going to do what we do, which is basically we're going to work to end the episode with a fight. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to hopefully... Yeah. Lord not moved. Yeah, I know he hasn't moved. Okay, let's go into turn 10. All right, Lamont all came out to fight us. Close victory. We won't lose any units. I wonder if we're going to take him out and be able to confederate him as we end this episode. This is happening on his turn, but let's see what happens. All right. I'm not going to replenish the army. Warlord defeated. Lamont all. We're going to form a confederation. Because I think... It feels like that's what it's about. Because we raise so many places. We've got Doomkeep as ours now. Oh, look. Wolfric leveled up to get his horse. We're, let's, let's take Wolfric into Doomkeep. So that he can get replenishment. We're just going to do it all for show. Okay. Alright, so 10 turns with Norska. How does it feel? Honestly? Slow. The first word that almost came out of my mouth, and, and forgive me Norskins, especially Wolfric, was pointless. Yeah. I don't like saying that word. But it just feels like uh, it feels like there's not a lot of meat on the bone. It just feels like there's not a whole lot of meat on the bone right now. Okay, so Norska, we've got the monster hunts that we didn't really get into. I've read in some places that they're bugged and some people say, no, it's fixed, yada, yada, yada. So you got your monster hunts, you got confederation, which we did do that a couple of times. And then we have the raising the altars, which can eventually get you some buffs. Right. All right. So that's Norska. Where does Norska fall compared to the others? Well, if Norska is just a slow burn like this, if you are fighting against 
the other Norskas for most of the time, and it's a slow burn, and you can kind of just slowly work through it. The Noke, um, I don't hate the units, but I would put the Empire above them. I think the Empire, yeah, I, I just think, I think Norska, Norska's over the Ogre Kings for me, right? Norska's over the Ogre Kings, at least as far as what I know and understand now, but they're, they're a solid fourth place. I mean, this is our fifth faction. Norska's a solid fifth place, right? That, that That's, that's what they're feeling. That's what they're feeling like. They're just, they just feel empty. They just feel empty. Sorry. All right. So with that, we'll go ahead and wrap this video. I appreciate everybody sticking around and I'm hoping you guys learned something from the video. Um, I know I didn't. I learned Norska, right? Um, and have developed an opinion on Norska. It may not be a, a fully educated one, but I have one anyway. As always, feel free to drop a thumbs up and sub if you liked the video. And hey, definitely leave me some comments like insights or thoughts on how to play Norska. If I miss something big on Norska and like, like two, like they're much better than you think, you just need to do X, Y, Z. It could also be, hey, they're much better than you think. You just need to play about 50 more turns, whatever it is, feel free to leave it because uh, I enjoy the comments and I enjoy learning and we're all here to help one another, right? So I appreciate everybody who is supporting the channel. I really truly do. I can't say that enough. I appreciate those who watched the video and made it through the video. And until the next one, stay safe and stay healthy. Goodbye, everybody.